Respectfully, I say to all people who aspire to be born in the pure land, the ocean of the one vehicle, the universal vow, has consummated the highest virtue, which is unhindered, unbounded, supreme, profound, inexplicable, indescribable, and inconceivable. How can this be? It is because the vow surpasses conceptual understanding. The vow of compassion is like vast space, for all its excellent virtues are broad and boundless. It is like an immense cart, for it carries all people, whether ignorant or wise, wherever they may be. It is like a wonderful lotus blossom, for it is not stained by anything in the world. It is like the clear sight tree, the king of medicines, for it overcomes all the diseases of blind passions. It is like a sharp sword, for it rends the armor of pride and arrogance. It is like the banner of a valiant general, for it subdues all the armies of Maras. It is like a keen saw blade, for it fells all the trees in the forest of ignorance. It is like a sharp axe, for it lops off all the branches of suffering. It is like a true teacher, for it unknots all the ropes of birth and death. It is like a guiding master, for it informs foolish beings of the essential way of liberation. It is like spring, for it wells forth with the waters of wisdom, which are inexhaustible. It is like a lotus, for it is not tainted by any karmic evil. It is like a swift wind, for it dispels the fogs of all hindrances. It is like a good nectar, for it perfectly possesses all tastes of virtue. It is like the right path, for it leads the multitudes of beings into the capital of wisdom. It is like a magnet, for it draws to itself the virtues originating from the primal vow. It is like Jambunada gold, for it overwhelms all the good of the conditioned world with its brightness. It is like a hidden treasure store, for it embraces the dharmas of all the Buddhas. It is like the great earth for all the tathagatas of the past present and future throughout the ten quarters arise from it it is like the light of the sun for it breaks through the darkness and ignorance of all foolish beings and gives rise to shinjin in them it is like the supreme ruler for it stands above all those of the upper vehicle it is like a strict father, for it gives guidance to all, both the ignorant and the wise. It is like a compassionate mother, for it gives birth to and nurtures the true and real cause of birth in the fulfilled land for all, both the ignorant and the wise. It is like the nursing mother, for it raises and protects all people who aspire for birth, both the good and the evil. It is like the great earth, for it sustains the birth of all beings. It is like the great waters, for it washes away the scum of all blind passions. It is like the great fire, for it burns the firewood of all views. It is like the great wind, for it goes everywhere in the world and is without hindrance. The vow liberates one from the castle of the fetters of the three realms of existence and closes the gateways to the twenty-five forms of existence. It brings one to attainment of the true and real fulfilled land and distinguishes the wrong from the right path. It dries up the ocean of ignorance and causes beings to flow into the ocean of the vow. It brings one to ride on the ship of all-knowing wisdom, so that one sails out into the ocean of beings. It brings to perfect fulfillment the store of merit and wisdom and opens the store of provisional means. Truly, we should reverently receive and accept it.